Welcome back, my friends. Hope you're doing well. Today I've got another class guide for you for Brotato, and today we're covering the Engineer. The Engineer is a little less complicated than other classes, but is one that people have requested and that has been searched a lot, so I'm going to cover it. And how the Engineer works, it's really fun. You basically just stand still in your little pod of turrets, and you let them kill everything. You start with a wrench, you get extra engineering, and we're going to, of course, buy more wrenches. So let's get right on into it. Your turrets will spawn together because of how the engineer works, so they'll spawn close to one another, um, which means that you're going to end up with this little nest of constructs. This is actually really strong as an ability because normally the problem for construct builds is that your constructs are all spread out and can't focus damage on anything, so having them all spawn together helps a ton. We're going to grab more uh, engineering, of course, because always more engineering on this character. And then we're going to roll just for more wrenches. One thing to keep in mind is that you're guaranteed two weapons in your first shop, and you're much more likely to get weapons with tags that you, your current weapons have. So we are very likely to roll screwdrivers and wrenches here um, on every single reroll. And... Because you're guaranteed two weapons, it's extremely likely that the two weapons we roll in our first two shops will be two more wrenches, or it will be one wrench and one screwdriver. So we can just roll. We didn't get that that time, so that's a pretty unlucky. And then actually didn't get it this time, but I will lock in duct tape. I'll lock in gentle alien, and I'm going to keep rolling for more wrenches. It's okay to lock and roll in the first ones because we're just rolling for more weapons, and then we'll lock this wrench. Locking in the wrench also locks the price, so it would be more expensive to buy in a future round. Since we have a, the, all those items locked, they are cheaper for us. So if you know that you're just going for six of the same weapon, that's a good way to guarantee that relatively early. And most of the time you can get six of that weapon by the end of shop two. Especially if it's a relatively cheap weapon. Here, let's pick up this money. <laughs> I've also been doing a streamer guide a guide for the streamer class, so I'm used to just standing still. Uh, here I'm just going to get armor, we don't use any of these other stats, but I don't want to re-roll because I want to save that money to roll for more weapons. I'm going to roll for another wrench, buy it, and we have exactly enough to roll and we can lock in our sixth wrench, so that's perfect. So here you can see me just standing still in my pile of turrets, letting the cash stack up on the ground. You of course want all the normal things that you want on every class on this class. Um, harvesting, luck, everything like that is really good. I'm going to start with like five seconds remaining. I'm going to start running around and picking up the cash here. Make sure we get as much of the cash picked up as we can. Um, and I'll grab harvesting here. It's early enough that this harvesting will still be pretty worth it. And then here, we don't really use any of these stats, so I will grab HP regeneration. Lifesteal is obviously worthless on this class, so you're going to use regeneration as your healing method of choice. I guess not worthless, because you do hit with your wrenches, but you don't get lifesteal off of the turrets, so... All right, we're going to grab this wrench, and I will also grab the gentle alien here. That should increase our income. I'm going to reroll once. Even though we have an item locked, it's still worth rerolling. And wow, we got the single best item for this character very, very early. The pocket factory obviously is insane. It's going to stack up a ton of turrets. It also helps you because you can spread turrets out over the map with it. And I'll, I'll lock this duck in as well, of course, because we don't use elemental damage. And 10 luck is really good. All right, so I'm very excited about this run because we got the pocket factory wave four. I guess we'll have it by wave five on the engineer. It is sometimes dangerous leaving your little pod of turrets in order to grab trees or like chase down loot aliens, which of course you have a lot of trouble killing on this character. But as long as you're comfortable dodging enemies, you should be able to do that. Let me, oh uh, no, I didn't quite get the tree in time. All right, here we are going to go with more armor over dodge, I think. I want to get my armor up to about... Oh, like Typically, I like to get my armor up to around 8 or so, and then start building dodge. 
Um, we're going to get the pocket factory, but lock, keep all these other items locked, so that's really good. <laughs> It's possible, I, I got really excited, of course, by the Pocket Factory. It's possible I actually should have bought the Wrench, because two of the same item at the same level can't spawn in the same shop. Um, so if I bought the Wrench, then it means that another level 1 Wrench could have spawned. And we could have left the Pocket Factory locked for another round. That being said, just look at all these little turrets going up. Can you really blame me? <laughs> Alright. Definitely looking for a little bit more income, but for now I'm just going to take this more engineering. And then here we'll take 6% dodge. Gonna grab the wrench. Grabbing all the items that we have here. I will reroll because we don't use damage at all. Landmines, of course, is still good, as is the wrench, so we're gonna grab the wrench. And I guess I can buy the landmines as well. Don't need to lock anything. In fact, I will reroll again, and then we can lock all of these. Screwdrivers are pretty bad, but the landmines that you just get as an item are good. I like to stand in this pod of turrets and mostly not move, just because then all the enemy materials are stacked in the same place. Makes it really easy to pick up all the materials by the end of the wave. You can also stand like a little behind your turrets, then all the enemies have to come through them to get to you. Gonna go make sure we clear this tree though. Lumberjack shirt and more tree spawns would be really good for us as well, naturally because we have the pocket factory. Lure, another really good item. Not as good for us, because we actually will have trouble killing the loot aliens, unless we can somehow push them with our wrenches into all of our turrets. But 3 HP regeneration and the chance at extra crates is still really good. I'm gonna take more engineering here. And, ooh, another uh, spawned turret. That's great. In fact, just gonna buy this whole shop very happily, and then we get a free reroll. Another turret item, which is also really good. I'm going to lock in metal plate because more armor for minus damage is good. I'm not going to bother with bait because we don't use the damage at all. Even though it's like a little bit of extra money, it won't pay for itself. And padding, I typically don't like very much because we're going to spend all of our money and losing 5% speed is actually pretty painful, especially on this class that wants to kite enemies through all of its turrets. Alright, so remember there's two extra loot aliens this wave. We're going to have to keep an eye out for them. And also, we do want to kill the eggs, so we have to go on field trips to do that. Let's see, any loot aliens? There we go. I'm going to try to hit them into my turrets with my wrench. There we go, got one of them. Looks like the other one spawned in with all the turrets, or maybe that was a tree, but I'll keep an eye out because there's a crate on the ground. Now, here's the other loot alien, so I'm trying to get on this side of him so I can push him into the turrets. Ooh, two loot aliens. We got also got one randomly spawning. Okay, where's the other one? Did we get him? It looks like we got him. We got four crates that round, one from a tree and three from loot aliens. Man, this, this run could not be going better. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. All right, we'll take Gentle Alien, another great item. I definitely want to increase my max uh, HP a little more, though, because 22 is quite low. Let's recycle that. I'll buy Health Regeneration and Armor and Engineering, of course, really good, even at the cost of some maximum HP. Continue to take some Regeneration, and great item for us. Obviously, we would take Speed as well, but 9 HP on that Epic Level Level Up roll is excellent. Gonna grab this and this. I would take this if it was free, but I'm not gonna buy it. Gonna keep rolling. Grab some more regeneration off the blood leech as well. I actually don't want campfire because we don't use elemental damage at all, and the minus speed I think is pretty painful for us. But let's roll again and lock in this metal detector for sure. Plus engineering, plus luck. 
and extra economy for no downsides. What is not to love? So one thing to keep in mind is that your level 2 turrets do their damage over time. So they do the most total damage of any level of turrets. The, the turrets are actually kind of interesting because it's not just a straight linear level up. Like 3 is not necessarily better than 2, etc. Level 2 does damage over time, but does more damage than level 3. Level 4 does an explosion rather than a pierce. So a mix of the turrets can be good, or just like all level 2 turrets if you want to just have sheer damage to take down a boss, some uh, something along those lines. Staying around here where my little medical turret can help keep me alive, but I also do want to take down the tree. <laughs> Another turret? All right. <laughs> here I'm gonna grab some speed, and then we are going to not buy the vigilante ring. Uh, I will take the defective steroids, though, just because max HP is good, and that's a relatively cheap way to get to max HP. Uh, leveled up wrench, that is really nice to find, so I will combine this and we'll buy this. I won't buy the alien eyes, even though we're going to be stacking HP, because we're probably taking any minus damage items. Like, we're, we're not going to avoid taking minus damage items, so the alien eyes won't end up doing a ton of damage over the course of a run. Now we have one of these laser turrets. Everything is just dying in seconds because we have so much engineering. But of course, the real danger comes in when we start getting elites. Engineering builds typically struggle a lot with elites because your damage is spread out over the whole field. The engineer in particular has less trouble with elites because you can try to pull them into your field of turrets. However, some elites dodge around the outside of the field and... Oh, took that hit, didn't mean to do that. Uh, some elites dodge around the outside of the field or run away from you and it's much harder for you to c clear that type of elite. Definitely taking this 40% uh, XP gain is really good for us, and of course, minus two lifesteal we don't care about at all. And then there's no engineering here, so I'll take three armor. Here we'll take two engineering over everything else. Really want to get this pretty high pretty early as well. We also get uh, five engineering just for free for having six tools. This whole shop except the ghost axe is good for us, so I'm going to buy most of this. This is actually one of the few characters I won't buy a Poisonous Tonic on, because we don't use any of these stats, so even though it's a really good item, we won't buy it. Bag, on the other hand, is, is really nice, and Pencil is Engineering, so we'll take that. And then here, we can get the Coupon, so I will take that as well. None of this other stuff does anything for us. Coupon pays for itself really quickly, even if you get it relatively late, like wave, the Wave 10 shop. Gonna run around a bit, pick up some cash. If you ever want a really calm and zen playthrough of this game, this is the class to pick. <laughs> oh. Actually, didn't have the damage to kill that tree. Really need to find the lumberjack shirt. So I can get those and get the tree in one hit instead of having to stand next to it for a long time. Also disappointed I haven't found any of the item that just increases tree spawns. The tree item. Because more turrets is more fun. Alright, here we go. I'm going to take... I'll actually take 15 luck here. Our HP regeneration is also lo already looking pretty good, and I'd like to increase our economy a bit. And here I'll take the dodge, because I want to get up to 60 dodge fairly soon. Nice! Found the Lumberjack shirt. 
one damage per second. We currently heal one per 0.65 seconds. So given that I have pretty good HP regeneration, I will take the blood donation here. Normally I don't like this item very much, but it's still pretty early. It's wave 10 and that harvesting will, I think, add up enough that it's worth taking. And then we can take the sad tomato here to make up some of that regeneration but first i'm going to take this wrench and i'm instead of combining two level twos into a and having five level threes i'm actually gonna have a mix of different turrets and we'll take this wrench as a level four turret um scared sausage is worth mentioning as well on this class you can build elemental damage because all your turrets will apply the burning effect so i'm actually just going to kind of speculatively take this e even though it won't end up being particularly good probably if we end up with some free elemental damage from something that extra burning damage could definitely come in handy have the elite here so i'm just gonna stay on the other side of my turrets from it and try to make it run at me through all the turrets This is one of the elites that just moves around randomly. It doesn't, it like it will try to move towards you, but it doesn't try to chase you or stay far away from you or anything. So this is actually a really good elite for us to get because it just walks slowly around in circles and our turrets actually get to focus it down. There are many elites that the engineer can't clear, but this is not one of them, luckily. Have to kite back through here so that the guy comes back. There we go. Also notice the explosion damage from my one turret there. Go clear that tree. Stay near my medical turret so I can stay alive. All right, uh, yeah, sure, I'll take 50% chance for burning damage. Oh man, this is the best item we could have gotten, basically. We do lose two regeneration, but armor, crit chance, engineering, and speed. We don't use the crit chance, but five armor, five engineering, and five speed, amazing. Here, I will offset that speed by taking armor and HP, and then I will take five HP regeneration. We've already got one damage per second on us, so we do want to build up our regeneration a little more. None of these stats we use, so I'm actually going to reroll and hope we get something a little better. Um, sure, I'll take two armor. Take this coupon, of course, and then we'll take this. Do I want elemental damage? Not at the cost of dodge. Oh, I could take another blood donation. We're definitely not doing that. <laughs> two damage per second is, is too much to try to overcome with just regeneration. This one's pretty interesting. We would have extra HP regeneration for in exchange for speed, but I actually do want to keep my speed high rather than try to lower it, and we've been buying speed. I don't think this item is very good. I think you should typically avoid it. Here I will take another wrench, though. Do I want two level fours? No, I guess I just want another level three. And we'll take cog, of course, because that is some engineering. And we'll take some XP gain, because we don't care about range at all. Have to stand on the medical turret so it can heal me back from the starting at half health. Other things we should be keeping an eye out for are, of course, piercing and bouncing shots, because those do work on your constructs. Constructs use all your secondary stats. Which includes piercing, bouncing, chance to apply burning, and so on. But the only primary stat they use is engineering. So things like ricochet or piercing bullet are especially good on the engineer because it's one of the only ways you can actually affect your construct's damage other than just buying tons of engineering. Have enough healing plus this medical turret, so we are able to just sit there. Uh, sure, I'll take the crown. I think it will pay for itself by the end of the game. As opposed to just getting 37 up front. Here I'm going to take more engineering, although I do want more max HP. And here I guess I'll take more harvesting. 
more engineering here, of course, and I'll definitely take minus attack speed for plus max HP, because I really do want to raise this up to, like, 80 or so pretty soon. Peaceful B, really good for us. We don't care about these negatives, and we want dodge and harvesting, of course. Here I'll take definitely another medical turret, and I'll take a blindfold, even though we don't use the crit chance, 5% dodge is good. I'll roll once more. Anything we want here. I could take the snake, but we still haven't built any elemental damage yet. And by the time enemies are in with all of our turrets taking the burning effect, I think they're just going to die to the turret damage. So I'm not going to worry about deal doing the, the burning thing. I might change my mind if we find like a unique that gives us a ton of elemental damage, but barring that, we're just not going to worry about it. Against these tentacle guys, the laser tentacle guys, you can just stand still, because what they will do is fire to either side of you. Um, and if you're moving, you can get hit by that, but if you're just standing still, see, they just fire on either side of where you're standing. The enemies are kind of getting pushed into me, though, because we do need some piercing damage or a little bit more, or, or bouncing shot, something like that, to clear large hordes of enemies, because we're actually having a little trouble clearing groups right now. Just trying to make sure to pick up all the cash on the ground as well. Here we go, a little bit of piercing damage, at least it, that's, that's still worth taking, because we don't use damage at all, even though we don't have piercing yet. Uh, here I'm going to take 15 luck again, because I really like getting some luck, and then here I'll take this, I'll take armor. I could take 4 elemental damage, that would increase the burning effect from, let's see, where's that guy? Oh, come on. I know it's right in front of me, here we go. Um, it, it's equal to your elemental damage, right? So we would increase our elemental damage up to 3, so it would deal 3 times 3. Uh, you know what, let's try that. Oh, right. Elemental damage increases or decreased on the Engineer anyways, so we don't get any benefit out of doing that. So, my bad. Forgot about that. Definitely don't buy this elemental damage stuff. I will take plus HP from consumables, though, and I'll definitely take the panda here. I'll take the book, and let's keep on going. Let me stand next to the medical turrets as well. Medical turrets, I think it's every, like, 25 engineering you have, they heal for one more, but they heal for a base of three. So even on non-engineering classes, the medical turret can actually be pretty efficient healing. And on engineering classes, they heal a ton. Like, if I'm standing here, I'm getting healed by each of these for five every two seconds. So that's basically, like, I'm picking up four health pickups, or... Like, I have 20 health regeneration or something. <laughs> Had to go down there and clear that tree. Let me run around and get the tree here and just pick up all the cash on the ground. Explosion damage and explosion radius would also be really nice. Because now we have two of the level 4 turrets. I'll take this, even though we are trying to build our dodge, but we're also really trying to build our max HP. Take the landmine as well. Here, I think we have enough harvesting. I'm going to actually reroll this and hope for something a little better. We didn't really get anything in high levels, but sure, I'll just take more engineering. Similarly, a level 4 harvesting. I think it's it's late enough in the game that I don't want to be taking harvesting, but for 4 engineering is really good. Max HP and luck, of course, we will take. Let's keep rolling. Harvesting for damage. This I probably will take. Uh, it'll pay for itself within four waves. Or, I guess, three waves because of the percentage increase every time. That said, do I want to take that over the diploma, which is the XP gain? I guess I'll take harvesting and then we'll lock the diploma. It's... Also nice when you're Engineer that your turrets spawn directly under you, so you know you're going to get the healing effect right away when you start damaged like we do. J 
just kind of hanging out in all the enemies here. Because we heal so fast with our two medical turrets. I do need to stay somewhat near the medical turrets in order to survive, though. Kind of navigate around and get a few more turrets up. Definitely looking at this point for piercing or bouncing shots. <laughs> Which I know I've been saying this whole time, but that would really help clear all these hordes out. Okay, dodge while standing still? Sure, I mean, we stand still a lot, actually, and I'll take that, I guess. Uh, this relic is good, now we can just stand still for the dodge. Extra turrets, awesome. Here I'm going to reroll, and we'll look for... Reroll that again, because that was pretty bad. Sure, I'll take four regeneration. I was hoping for a higher level max HP one, but didn't get there. Here, I'm going to just buy this whole shop, I think. Actually, now no longer have any level two wrenches. Clover is really good for us as well, because we're not using lifesteal, and we do want to build our dodge up. Kind of have low dodge for a character that wants to build dodge right now. Um, do I want to lock this for 5 max HP? Probably. We need max HP pretty badly. Hanging out here. Now getting 6 healing from the turrets. And remember when I'm standing still now, I have extra dodge, so we want to do that as much as we can. That said, I am going to run down here and clear out that tree. That tree, I think, is in range of our stuff. And as trees spawn near, it kind of extends the, the field of fire of our turrets. So that gives us even more trees that we... Or even more range in which we can clear more trees, and they can spawn across the map. Uh, I love the Pocket Factory. It's my favorite item in this game, I think. I might go check if there's trees up in the top right here. There aren't, okay. So we're just standing still, waiting to dodge. Also up to 840 cash, because we pull in all our cash now. This is pretty good for us, just slowing enemies. Minus percent enemies we definitely don't want, so I'll recycle the candle here. Uh, sure, I'll take some more armor. And 12% dodge is actually really nice for us. That gets us pretty close to our dodge cap right now. I will actually take... No, I'm going to take Engineering. I was considering taking max HP over it because it's a higher level, but we get extra Engineering, and I think we need damage more than HP at this point to level our wrench here. Actually buying this whole shop again. Rerolling. This would give us extra damage, but isn't worth taking. This gives us minus HP from consumables, but plus max HP. So what's my HP from consumables right now? three or four we would go down to three i think that's still worth it just for two just for the max hp the obliterator level four that's kind of fun let me buy this stuff though do i want i guess the only way i can get it is by going to three level four turrets here i could combine these two for another level one turret and that's probably worth doing it means we have no level 3 turrets left. Now have 3 medical turrets, so I can just stand here and just get full-time healed by my little posse. Run down here and grab this tree, though. There we go. If I just stand in the in the center here, all the medical turrets are healing me. Uh, they're not hitting that tree, so I need to do it. Looking at my HP, it's never dipping below 78. Because the enemies aren't even getting to me, but... Every time it does... Every, anytime they do, I just get immediately healed for, like, 18. I will say we got pretty lucky on finding all of the additional turrets in this run. 
just extra items. Let's see any trees over there? Nope, no trees, so we'll just hang out. XP gain for melee range. Uh, for, for minus luck, we have 145 luck, so I think I'm okay <laughs> accepting that. Um, and I do want more max HP. Here I will take more dodge because we... So we're dodge capped when we're standing still currently, but I'd like to be dodge capped while moving as well. Ooh, actually a tough one. I can't combine any of these wrenches, so we actually have to sell a wrench to buy this level 3 wrench. Oop, I, and I did that in the wrong order. Should have bought the coupon first, obviously. This Ugly Tooth actually does apply to my turrets, so this is another item that is really, really good for engineering builds. Now all my turrets have a slowing effect attached to them. Level 4 Wrench will definitely lock in here, and everything else is no good, so I'm just going to sit still. Alright, we've got another Elite, so I'm going to try to pull it across through all of my turrets. This is where I would like to actually have more level 2 turrets, because, like I said, they do the most damage. Although, when you're just keeping it in the field of fire, the level 2 turrets, because they do their damage over time, end up doing less total damage. It's only if they are applying it to a unit that then leaves and doesn't continuously get hit. But since all of my turrets are all hitting the same guy over and over again, we are doing really well in terms of damage without the level 2 turrets. Love watching my turrets just like Zerg creep across the map. Because of the pocket factory, we've got little outposts everywhere. Oh, let's, let's go get one over here too. Sure, I'll take it. I mean, it won't have a ton of effect, but it's still... A little bit of extra max HP. Max HP here. And yeah, max HP here. Here I'm going to reroll. Looking for dodge mostly. Alright, I'll take armor. This is another really key item. Tyler um, is really good on this character because you can... It does massive AoE damage. So if we were struggling more for damage, this item would be really important does 100 damage in a big circle. Um, and I will sell this level 2 for the level 4, even though that is pretty expensive. Obviously more trees spawn, and then I will I will buy plus 8 armor while standing still. We are standing still a lot. Here, nothing here that we want, so on we go. I would take the Blood Leech probably, but I'm not going to lock for it. Wave 19. Spawn in and immediately tank three seven-point healing shots from our little buddies. Notice how Tyler, the, the guy, is shooting lightning in a circle and does just tons of damage. That's definitely an item to keep an eye out for in any engineering build. With extra dodge and extra armor while standing still, I don't see a particular need to move. I guess I'll, I'll go over here and kill this tree, because why not? Even my little basic turrets are still one-shotting guys. Alright. Uh, here, I will take this, even though we have elemental damage penalties, we still can use it, and we do have the burning effect. And then here, armor and max HP and speed, still really good for us with the metal. Here, I will take this 12% dodge, that gets us basically to our dodge cap, and I will take 12% speed. That's pretty nice for us, actually. Um, plus damage to bosses and elites, this does apply to our turret, so we'll take that, and we'll reroll, and I'll take that again. We lose damage and speed, but gain 5 regeneration with Mammoth, but since we don't use melee damage, I don't think it's worth the hefty price tag here. We can probably find something better. Uh, sure, I'll take armor and max HP here, and we'll reroll, and then I can take the metal detector for a little bit of extra engineering. 
And then we are on to wave 20. So here's my whole little family of turrets. Just gonna kite the bosses through it. Also, trying to get a screenshot of them. Actually, I'm gonna try to pull the bosses away from them so I can get a screenshot of all the turrets just hanging out. All right, done. <laughs> So basically with this, we just want to move to the opposite side of our turret field so that the, the bosses run into the field of turrets. This guy will come towards us. One thing that's important about that boss, the octopus head boss, is because of how circles work, his like circular field of lasers is easier to dodge the closer you are to him, so it, it's worth standing next to that guy if you want to dodge. Anyways, that's the Engineer. I don't think that's the most complicated class, but I do think it's one of the most fun. You just get to stand there and watch everything just die. So, hope you enjoyed this, and as always, my friends, if you've enjoyed these videos, feel free to subscribe, leave comments letting me know what you want to see next, and I will catch you next time. Cheers and GG!